Am I here okay? Jeff, am I here okay? Okay. Now, make sure you stay right here, okay? Because my face is round, but it's not fat. And I've noticed lately that my face looks kind of fat, and I really don't appreciate that, you know? <laughs> I didn't get all that work done for nothing. Oh, shit. You almost done lighting? I don't got all day. This is a badass neighborhood, and I don't have time to wait for all these niggas. Hurry up with this shit. Ready. Are you done? Hi, this is Loretta King with WTIT, and we're here in front of the uh, recording studio for America's Most Notorious Outlaws, and we're coming to you with a 30-minute special titled The Outlaws. Thank you. Four of them. Did I? Okay. Mal. Castro. No, Castro is K-Dog. K-Dog. Okay, K-Dog, Yaki, Malcolm, Moo. Beto, and Moo. There are five. <laughs> there are five of them. Yeah. So, we'll do it again. But tell me some other things you want me to say. Um, do you want me to come up and say, oh, they're not coming tonight? <laughs> yes. That's good. Oh, they're not showing. Perfect. Hey, man, I'm sorry, they're not coming tonight. Just say, fuck. Damn, I got my hair flat ironed and everything. Okay. Um, Ain't this but, about a bitch. But be, be, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let's see if that thing's going to die. Be um, cautious of the neighborhood, looking around. Okay. Like, how the fuck they pick this goddamn neighborhood? It's like so seedy or whatever, something like okay. that. Okay. And then um, when, you, when you've done your whole thing, uh -huh. and then... And then just say, Jeffrey, you ready to film? Can we just do this damn thing? And then he says, OK, I'm ready. Then you just get in the position and say, hi, blah, 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 blah. OK. OK? OK. All right. So just go ahead and turn on and start rolling. You always have to be in some damn alley. Damn, Jeff, shoot. You know, I swear, I didn't get my master's for this. I thought I would be, you know, maybe covering the uh, jazz festival down at the Hollywood Bowl or something. But this is a fucking bunch of nigga, nigga mess. I swear. All right. Getting ready soon, okay? You almost ready? Yeah. Yeah? Sure. Okay. Remember? The box. Perfect. So good. God, I hate this neighborhood. Shit, this is so God damn it, I might even see a rat running around here. All right. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Hi, this is Loretta King with WTIT, and we're here tonight on a special assignment covering the Outlaws. Now, the Outlaws are a group of young rappers, you might say, and Tupac Secure... <laughs> Tupac <laughs> Shakur is actually their manager, so this is... Actually, this is a very special... Yeah, okay, good. Is that, is that battery look like it's dying again? I don't know, the recharge these fuckers. Okay, um, that was fun. Just but we'll start from here. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, where, do you, where do you want to start from? Hi, this is Loretta King. Okay. Um, are you filming yet? Jeff, ready? All right, here we are today. You're with Loretta King, WTIT. Start again. WKTIT, right? Yeah, and then the Misty Flower, too. Okay. And... Hi, we're back again with Loretta King at WKTIT, and we're here at rapper Tupac Shakur's home. Actually, one of his mini homes, and it's very lovely. The camera will show you. And we're actually about to meet his sister, etc. So, here she comes. Just found out that they didn't install a cable yet, so he went to the Wilshire house to watch the basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess it'll be a couple hours. Excuse me? Yes. Really? Yes. Damn. Sorry. You know, he didn't show up last night. Well, hey, it's Tupac. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. I'm sorry, but it's the game. Yeah, it's, it's the, the game. game. Okay. <laughs> Well, since we have you here, maybe you can explain your name for us. Because you and your brother both have very interesting names. My name is Setua. It means determined. In Ghana? Yeah. In Ghana, Ghanese. Yes. Very cool. Beautiful name. Thank Beautiful you. Beautiful name. Thanks. So, uh, we hear your sister, your, actually your mother's here, and your aunt. Yeah, my mom, my aunt, and my, my baby. Your baby? How's your baby? Five months. Oh, I'm just 
you, baby. Oh, Sean comes to you, baby? Yeah. Okay, cool. Rapper Tupac's nephew. Oh, yeah. He wasn't into reading, but I think his, his interest right now is into look to studying historical characters and their lives, people who have made a difference in history right. one way or the other. And um, and I think Machiavelli is somebody that he studied. He read the prints in, um, in jail. Amazing book. Yeah. Yes. Well, it is a very amazing book. So. Is it? Very nice. Pretty. Okay. Uh, here's Molly. Oh, the hard working Molly. 
share my shame I can still feel you, baby Come free my walls of pain We'll fly like birds in autumn And then like leaves will fall You think I love you, baby This ain't love at all And these bar of times Leave your fears behind Like through friends, like family. Yeah. Oh, encore. Encore. Huh? Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Wait, say what we did the other song. Sing that other song, please. Huh? Sing that other song. Still, I try. Yeah. I love this song. Okay. Don't you depend on me. It's not that fair, you see. What would you do? you down don't you depend on me it's not that fair you see what would you do if I what would you do if I lied to you when I smile when I was under the weather I try to be what I could not be do you Still I try. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you met him through family? Yeah. Uh, through friends of the family. Yeah? yeah. So have you already gone and started recording? I've been in the studio to uh, do borrowed times. Uh-huh. Um, and that went really well. Yeah. So it's like, you know, currently, we're not working on stuff right now because it's busy doing the film. Right. So you look at the album being complete, what, by the end of the year, possibly? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Thank you. <laughs> Who are all these babies? This is
but you know what I mean? Someone smart. Right. Someone with a head on their shoulders. Right. But you know, I like my shorty buck wow. <laughs> I can't just go all the way out and just go to Beverly Hills and find one oh, on no. Sunset. I gotta oh, go on no. Crenshaw, you know. Yeah, right. but, and you know the chances of that. The chances Crenshaw. are very high of that. That's but not true. It takes a while. There's always a diamond in the no matter where you go. That's right. Mm -hmm. So this is Yaki. Yaki is one of the outlaws and Yaki can die. he's the uh, notorious ladies' man. Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. So uh you're here for Tupac's birthday, right? Yeah, I'm here for the kid's birthday. Got a couple presents, you know what I mean? Got you catching little, everything? Got a little outfit just in case we go out, you know what I mean? Me, you know, me, 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 me a little bit. That's my auntie glow. Yeah, we might go in the studio, but hopefully we can get a chance to mingle. Get a close-up. Uh-huh. <laughs> get a close-up to me mingling. <laughs> do a little mingling. Do a little mingling. You don't get to do that often because uh -huh. you work so hard. Especially dressed like this. Hard. You know, I mingle with my jeans and my sneakers. Exactly. It's not, you know, every day, man. Get a chance to mingle with some shoes and some, you know, real uh -huh. clothes. But, uh, so we tried to find you guys last night. We were waiting out in the cold at the studio. And yeah. You showed us. Thanks to the old bag of belly chances once again. So you go old bag of belly on the spots of the Okay. We got singers, we got rappers, we got sex symbols like Lil Boo over there. We got it all. We got babies, sex symbol babies. Catch the catch the flip. Look at the little the, the new baby sex symbol on your next German commercial. Like the gerbil? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Who's Juke Joint over here? Juke Joint here. Go in there, stupid. What is it, baby? Huh? He's so good. He just sits here. He's been here now 30 minutes. For real. Hi, oh, baby. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good boy, huh? Later on. Yeah. We're trying. Happy. 
you see on camera. He's things, things look really funny, right? Oh, God. <laughs> Yesterday we were driving the car. Mm -hmm. And he saw a picture of <laughs> <laughs> We had to tell him for no reason. Too far to hit me. Uh -huh. Is that what he did? He did it? Daddy will get him. Daddy will get him, okay? Daddy will take care of him. It's probably because he's a chicken. Don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> This is Yasmin, one of Tupac's other halves, eating chicken out on the porch. Typical pose. Mm-hmm, relaxing. She has nothing to do all day. But I'm sure her mind is going. Yeah, right? <laughs> I have plenty to do. Oh, I know you do. That was, uh, I was being very facetious. So what is your average day like? Very hectic. Very hectic. Early in the morning to late, late the next morning, huh? Mm-hmm. Very hectic. Very hectic. You organize what meetings? Just run everything? the oh, yeah. Basically, keep keep track of his schedule. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, make sure he's abreast of what's going on. Right. You know, make sure that we coordinate things with Death Row. Yeah. It's a difficult job because right now he's filming Gridlock and he's doing videos back to back. So he's yeah. a very intense person. So very few seems. people can keep up with his schedule. Yeah. It's a hard job for you. Well. It, it's it's made easier because of all the good folks that are around. That's nice. You know, a lot of yeah. good people, a lot of competent people, mm -hmm. you know, that recognize his creativity, you know, and you bear with it. Because, I mean, he's just, he works around the clock. So when you deal with a genius, though, there's a lot that goes with it. I guess you could say yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And the outlaws, do you take care of them, too, now? Uh, now that they've, yeah, well, they've been working with Pop for quite a while mm -hmm. now. Okay. You know, but it's um, it's just really come to a head in terms of production. You know. But they've been unrecognized for quite a while. So now it's about time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're all very talented. They are. Yeah. Truly, right. they are. Mm -hmm. You know, and Park has 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 influenced them. You know, he's molded them. Yeah. You know, he's encouraged them. Is that my phone Is ringing? That? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> God, I don't want to answer. There you go. You all didn't talk to Pog at all? Mm-mm. We missed him. Straight missed him. But we thought with the game, you know, that would have been nice to see them watching the game, but I didn't expect too much. But more. you, um, you're going to go to the studio at 8. Oh, Trace. You saved my life the other night. You know that. <laughs> How am I gonna get up? Can't am. I know. He was like, "Busy woman." That means gonna come get you. I said, "What?" Mm, you. Mm. Malcolm. Hello, Malcolm. They not there, right? Okay, I'm gonna tell you where they at. Right there. But really, is my face not looking too fat? Because are you standing back far enough? Really? Mm -hmm. The closer, the more I'm like sort of distorted and it's not going to be very pretty. Just let me uh, rack focus here and then yeah. we'll be good to go. Yeah. Cool in the game. Let me know when you're ready. Cameras are set. Ready? <laughs> Hi, back with Loretta King, WKTIT. We're back in front of the recording studios on our hunt for the outlaws. Last night they were a no-show. Well, let's see if they turn up tonight. Come on. This is one of the outlaws. This is good. Studio on top. Good picture of the office, like, off the wall. Any runner, pick up line two, any runner, line two. 
somebody like Tupac, the outlaws. It's exciting. It's exciting. Why is it exciting? Well, it goes with the pattern of what they do. I agree. Which is exciting. Yeah. Definitely. Always changing. Yeah. A lot of girls around, huh? That's a fair assessment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a fringe benefit, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's not a negative. <laughs> exactly. Little Cristal, Alizé. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a yeah, unique experience. Hey, but Tupac's cool, right? Oh, yeah. All the guys He's are down really there. cool. Uh -huh. He's down yeah. there, real nice guy. Oh, cool, good. Thanks, Sherman. Yeah, yeah. welcome. I don't know how to address it, so. This is Jeff's t-shirt, our illustrious cameraman. Right, Jeff, Bob, Billy. Yeah, this is what I like to wear when I go shooting these artists. Why, why do you like wearing these shirts? Um, why do I like wearing these shirts? Because <laughs> um, um, when people read it, it makes them think a lot. Like what? What does it make them think about? It makes them wonder if they should have worn khakis <laughs> or if they should have just wore some dungarees. <laughs> and you, you, uh, you stuck with the dungarees, huh? Yeah. A little um, hiking boot action there. Yeah, I'm ready. You're ready, huh? Let's see. Turn around. What do you have on? Film for them. Extra large. What does that pertain to? <laughs> that does never. Let me know when you got speed. Yeah, let me know when you're ready. Uh, hold on, let me just uh, rack the focus okay. here. Rack that focus, babe. Okay, camera set. Got the right angle. Ready? Yes. Hey, sports fans, Loretta King again with WKTIT, and we're back again trying to get our interview with the Outlaws and Tupac Shakur. Tonight we're back here at these uh, illustrious studios, and once again they haven't shown up, so we're just going to wait around and maybe do an interview with Bodyguard or whoever's in, you know, in the studio that will be nice enough to speak to us. So just hang on, and hopefully very soon we will be meeting the Outlaws and Tupac Shakur. This way. Damn, can't believe one more goddamn night waiting for these little motherfuckers. Fuck. Now, you know, this is about a bullshit. We drive up to the house, he's not there. We come here, second night in a row, he's still not here. I don't, you know, that's it. Niggas get some money, and then they don't know what to do with it. You know that? They don't know how to keep to a schedule. He's got two damn secretaries, and he still doesn't know how to stay on time, and I'm still sitting out here waiting. I have my masters. Why should I be here? You know, you know, I should be interviewing somebody like Farrakhan. You know, at least he'd be on a schedule. I mean, this is ridiculous. This shit is real ridiculous. Fucking little niggas just waiting around, waiting around, waiting around. They get here, you know they're going to be drunk. You know they're gonna be drunk off their ass. Crystal, Alize, girls, girls, girls. This shit is ridiculous. Fucking bullshit waiting in an alley like a damn rat. You're not taping, huh? Jeff. Okay. Okay. Hold for a second. Just for a second. I'm sorry. Um, I just. Oh, let me just uh, check the focus here. Yeah, rack your fucking focus. Camera set. You ready? Hi, you're back with Loretta King, WKTIT, and we're back in front of the Outlaws Recording Studio. 
We're here tonight trying to catch act actor, rapper Tupac Shakur and the Outlaws recording a new song. And we tried this last night, but it just didn't seem to work out. They've never showed up. So we're going to wait a few minutes. We're going to maybe do an interview with a security guard, show you the inside of the studio. So let's just hold on and see what we can see. Thanks. I hate this. Oh, I hate waiting a fucking round for these little assholes. Isn't that fucking ridiculous? Damn. You know what? I didn't fucking give a goddamn master's education to be sitting in nobody's goddamn alley waiting for these little nappy head motherfuckers. Now, this shit is bullshit. You know that? I'm fucking tired of this. I don't need to do this shit. I'm not getting paid enough money for this shit. I could be sitting on my ass at home eating bonbons. You know that? Niggas ain't even cute. Well, I don't know if they were cute, I might feel differently, but this is, this is ridiculous. Too young for me anyway. Fuck. Damn. Fuck. Okay. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Speed. Okay. Action. Hey, it's Loretta. What do you have me out here doing? Sitting in the middle of the ghetto, waiting for these little niggas to show up and they haven't even made it. Do you know this is the second time in a row they have stood me up? No, I don't give a fuck who Tupac is, okay? My time is worth a lot. Fuck this 30 minute special too, you know that? the money you're not paying me enough to get my hair done for a goddamn month so you know what i don't even care all right you just better get them here and get them here quick or i'm leaving all right i'm taking the whole crew with me fuck you it's my crew okay they will come with me i don't care what you say i could give a fuck what you say you you hear me this guy this guy means nothing okay this little fucking dickhead rapper don't mean a goddamn thing, okay? You just better get me here, because I'm leaving, all right? I'm, gonna, I'm packing up my stuff and I'm going. I don't have time to waste. Turn that, turn that camera off. Can you let him rest for a minute? Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah turn the camera and just give him, a, give, him a, give him the camera a second real quick. What do you mean? Okay. Now we're inside the studios. We've actually made it in, and Tupac is actually here, so we're going to try to get an interview. Look at everything. Yeah, I can't wait to get the ball. 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 Yeah
Rappers that we've been hearing about lately. No, I got love for the East Coast. We just, you know, I heard about one incident where this one guy, P.I.G., got hurt. Yeah, I heard he got hurt. But as far as all the other East Coast rappers, I love them. But except I, I know I heard about another group of guys that got hurt. Slav D. Burrow. <laughs> Slob Deep, that's right, Slob Deep. Like that. What about yeah. Buffy? Oh, yeah, he got hurt, too. That's uh -huh. real unfortunate. I cried when he got hurt. I cried. I bet Me you. and my whole home, my whole boys cried. It was sad, but life goes on. You got to keep moving ahead. And we, uh, we hear you're quite a ladies' man, and we haven't heard about you much lately with, uh, like, any sexual allegation charges. So have you been uh, behaving yourself? Oh, yeah, I've been cool, okay. chilling, staying up. Yeah, what I mean, you doing after this interview? You know now. <laughs> it is a birthday. Birthday, right? That's right. Can I get a present? <laughs> <laughs> Can a nigga get a present for his birthday? You know, I got some ideas. So, you know, ain't nothing but some business with air. So, I'll let the people decide, you know, what happens. So, can we show them in here real quick? We're working on a new project called One Nation. It's going to be an East Coast, West Coast collaboration. So, you got East Coast, night. West Coast? Yep. It's gonna be a collaboration. Nah, not with Sloppy. them. Nah, nah, nah. None of that. We're doing it with the real niggas from out there. Okay. So that we can make them more extinct. None of the. None of the suckers. Just the real niggas. Okay. Not Jay Z, not Mom. Pino, none of them. None of them. Uh, not them suckers. Chino's none of them. Queen okay. OX. We ain't doing it with none of them. Okay. Queen OX. I heard he was a transvestite, though. That's just, you know, I ain't the one that told you this. <laughs> but I heard that's why the, the long hair, you know, I heard, you know. Oh, uh, now? I heard, you know, motherfucker think he can walk on water. You know he think he got a motherfucking pussy or a dick. You know he don't know the difference. That's just what I heard, though. I ain't the one to start no rumors. Okay. Tape everybody. To be continued. How long are you going to make her wait? Oh, hmm? To be continued. To be continued. You have a few pieces. You can make her wait. To be continued. Okay. I plead the fifth. Y'all ain't going to get me in trouble on TV tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so is this song right now, is it, are you guys on the song? The song. Are you recording tonight? Well, it's still in the process of being made, so, you know. Okay. But stick around. Cool. Stick around. That's a new This is K Dog, another one of the outlaws. Sakari. AKA Castro. Castro, but I like Sakari. X that one out. You ain't hear that. Okay, you didn't hear that. So tell us about what happened in the warehouse last week. We hear. Piggy Smalls was murdered, possibly. They haven't found the body yet. Oh, that's what they heard? That's what they heard. Oh, I ain't supposed nothing. to be on a farm, Buffy yeah, said. Something I, like I that. I ain't hear nothing about that. No, nothing about that. Uh, I ain't hear nothing about that. You're just making music. Yep, trying to make some money legally. What are you going to do with your money when you start making a lot of money? Make more. Make more and do what with it, though? Kids, my family. Do you have any kids? Nope. No babies? Nope. But you're young, right? 19? You know what I mean? So it ain't your fault. It ain't my fault. time. Mm -hmm. I didn't think to ask you before this. So Excuse me, people. You gotta eat. I'm a little um, intoxicated. Why? Because it's Pac's birthday? Yeah, exactly. No, not really, though. You wanna sing happy birthday to him? <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday to my homeboy. Yeah. I know it's gonna be more coming. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Without light? Yeah. All right, get me without light. I already introduced myself, you know what I'm saying? I ain't too good with the cameras and stuff. Let the young lady by come through. 
Yeah, catch, catch that. Stocking, catch gotta that. Gotta get the shoes. Catch that. Okay. You know, I'm a ladies' man, too, so you might see that. Right. Mm -hmm. Later on. But, uh... I guess this is the introduction to our little home video, you know what I mean? This is the studio part of anything we do. We're gonna have anything, we we'll get anything. This is just the studio right here. Young Edie. But what we wanna know? Fellow outlaw member. We wanna know about the killing. The killing? Edie Small was being killed the other night in the big fight that happened in the warehouse. Oh, shit. I don't you know there, nothing about you? that. Hell I wasn't nah. there. I don't know nothing Matter about fact, that. Matter of fact, I played the fifth. SWAT uniforms that never came up. Oh, who the fuck was that? No. Stealing SWAT uniforms? Uh -huh. Killing Biff. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What, what do you know about that, man? I you played the fifth. For the record, I just passed the weed to the director of this particular uh, <laughs> video you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> just so everybody knows, we all getting high, you know? Just not the rappers. Give me the cameraman right here. <laughs> oh, we got oh, the cameraman. The cameraman want to hit it, too. I'm from Jersey. I'm from the audience. From NEW Jersey, where plenty of murders right. occurs. Bob Clair, Bob Clair, Bob Clair. We got another Bob Clair member over there. I'm the only solely solely representing Mom Clair right now. So you guys, in actuality, are from the East Coast? Actually, not all of us. Not all of us. Where are you from? I'm from a little bit everywhere. Okay, but where were you originally from? Where were you born? Where I was Don't born? Don't be shy. I was born in Brooklyn. I ain't shy. Coney Island. Right. I used to live on West 31st Street. And where did you move to after that? I moved to Minnesota. Cold. Oh, like, oh, yeah. For the record, let me make a step. Me, I was born in New York. Born in the Bronx. Boogie down. Raised all over. Raised all over. But I'm um, uh, <laughs> half raised in Jersey, the other half raised in Cali. So I guess that makes me what? A Jersey Cali boy. <laughs> Where you're from, where you're at, 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 where you are at 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 I don't know who killed it that day. I don't know. Just sit here. I I'm innocent. Slick Rick. I'm innocent. Innocent. Can't get a beat. Can't. First time. Oh. 
I'm gonna say I was misjudged. Oh, ain't no. It's gotta be this no. one. Look at it. <laughs> Birthday to the homie. Yeah, come on. Much love to you. Know, everybody get their B-Day. Hey, wait a minute. Homie, you might get mine. Same response. Y'all bad. 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 Y'all
he read it. And you have to pay for the perfume. No, no, everything is everything. free. And how long does God take to write a nigga back? He answers back pretty quick. Because I, I just email him. It's quicker. I email. I just... <laughs> He called me back real quick. Mm, yeah. His secretary, rather, but I get yeah. it. He's on your side. <laughs> yeah, you keep behind me. Hey, do y'all notice more, a bright more. light just appeared? No, bright no, 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 no. light. See? Let me just give you the light. Hey, fine. I know. <laughs> just out of nowhere, I just felt the light on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mr. Um, Mr. Paul Mooney.